It is 9 p.m. Monday, the 21st of January in American Samoa, and we are still closely monitoring Tropical Cyclone Gary located to your north. This is the most recent update from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, and based on this track, the cyclone would remain well to the north. However, within the last six hours, the cyclone has relocated a bit more toward the south, so we will be getting another update from the JTWC within the next few hours, and the track will certainly be adjusted a little closer towards the islands. Here is a more zoomed in look at the tropical cyclone using daytime visible satellite imagery and we can see that the tropical cyclone is showing signs of organization. Convection is developing near the center of circulation and it's also moving east-southeast to southeast towards the Manua district and interests in this region are going to be the ones that will have to follow this cyclone the closest over the next three to six hours because off towards the west there's really not much happening as you can see out across Upolu the conditions are already beginning to clear with not much in the way of shower activity and even across to Tuila we're seeing some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity along with some gusty winds but we do not expect that conditions across that part of American Samoa will become much worse than what we are already seeing as we turn to the water vapor, you can also see some dry air approaching from the southwest, and this is also going to help to limit the southwest quadrant of the storm from continuing to expand. So this is going to be more so of a local event for the Manua district, and we can still expect gale force winds overnight into early Tuesday morning, especially as some of the stronger convection associated with the inner core and center of the tropical cyclone continues to move more so towards the southeast. This is just another view of the storm as we transition from the visible to the enhanced infrared satellite imagery as we lose daylight. And it still looks as though the center itself is going to miss the islands just to the east, but you're still going to be clipped by the southwest portion of the inner core, and this is where some of the stronger winds will be located. We're looking at gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour, and along with those winds there will be at least a temporary period of heavy rainfall. The good news is that with the storm missing just to the east and also continuing to move at a steady rate, the rainfall estimates are not going to be overwhelmingly large, so the flooding should ease up after the cyclone quickly moves off toward the southeast and moves away from the islands. This is the latest output from one of the more accurate forecast models, and you can see the center of circulation approaching from the northwest, and as we go into the next 12 to 24 hours, the storm will be making its closest approach but much like what we saw with the satellite imagery, this model is also in agreement with the idea that the center of circulation will pass just to the east of the Manua district, but you're still going to have strong southeast winds along the southwest quadrant of the storm, and that is going to be the main threat over the next day or so in addition to the heavy rainfall. But as you can see, this is not looking like much of a stall threat. It looks as though the steering currents will remain moderate and push the storm further south over time. Beyond the impacts felt across American Samoa, the storm will continue to move southeast and the latest model tracks is indicating at least somewhat of a threat towards the Cook Islands. And I'm unsure as to how many followers that we have that far toward the south, but if you happen to be a resident or a tourist visiting those locations and you have concerns regarding this tropical cyclone, please go ahead and try to email us or message us at facebook.com slash 28storms and we will try to answer any questions or concerns that you may have regarding this tropical cyclone tracking towards that direction. So just to recap, the worst is over across much of Samoa, but all of the action is going to be focused across the Manua district over the next 6 to 12 hours, where gale force winds are still possible, so interest there should be hunkering down and ready to ride out the storm until it safely passes toward your southeast, and please continue to adhere the latest official information from the National Weather Service Forecast Office. Finally, you can continue to check out 28storms.com for all of the cyclone information across the South Pacific and Australian region.